let's get down to business. Oh. Isn't that it? Yes. 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 Hi, I'm Lupita. And I'm Chris Sanders. And we are going to play What's in the Box with IMDb. I love games. Look, Petey should go first. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll be happy to. Oh, it's Velcro. Good to know. Okay. This is a Black Panther something or other. Open it up. Oh, it's Kimoyo beads. Oh. oh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, these are sturdy. <gasps> these are Kimoyo beads. They hold vibranium, and you can do all sorts of things, including taking phone calls. <laughs> it's a weapon. It starts your car or whatever other hoverboard you have. It is very, very multi-purpose. I remember the first time we got our Kimoyo beads. They weren't this heavy, for sure. They were like made of like a, a foam or something. And I was like, what the hell are these? What are they gonna do? So it was really cool to see what they eventually ended up doing. Oh, and they have like um, Wakandan script on them. I don't speak Wakandan script to be honest, but it was nice to pretend like I did. It is really jungly. Okay, I will look in here. This probably is something I'm familiar with. Um, okay. This represents a lei. Uh -huh. um, that would be from Lilo and Stitch, I'm going to guess. Um, that was one of the most personal projects I've ever made. And actually, you were also the voice of Stitch. I was the correct? voice of Stitch. That's right, that's right. We're talking about roles. So I was the voice of Stitch, <laughs> yes. How? There's a live action version coming, and you are going to be Stitch in that as well, right? I have already done the very first recording session, and you'd be very happy to know that it was, it was rough. <laughs> It was Why? four hours. I walked out and I couldn't. I couldn't. Right. Make any, yeah. Right. It's I couldn't talk for a while. Yeah. It was intense. Yeah. Vocal work is hard work. It's it's not to be scoffed at. Okay, my turn. Okay, well, haha. <laughs> I think these represent the one glove in uh, us from the red people from the underpass. Jordan was inspired by the Michael Jackson glove. And then there was us. Okay, Chris, go ahead. All right. Is this, this one's that mine, right? That is not yours. That's not mine. Oh, that's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked on things with animals, so True. I wasn't sure. Maybe that. Oh, oh I know wait. That I'm going to guess this is How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This is actually the first uh, CG film I ever worked on. So that was a huge learning curve for me, yeah. I learn a lot on every single project I work on. And I think the structure of an animated film, I learned more on this film than any other film I ever worked on. Mm. And I believe they're also making that into a live action now. They too? are, yeah. I think they're, they're in the last stages of that right now. What? I was hoping for this. All right, this is mine, obviously, yes. if it isn't his. Is this representing Jungle Book? Yes, because I played Raksha, the wolf mama. That was fun. I did that with John Favreau. I guess it was my first feature length animation project. So it was one of those things that you go to a studio, you put your voice in the booth, and then you forget about it. And then years later, they're like, come to the premiere. And you're like, what? Oh, yeah. And it was beautiful. With animation as an actor, you don't meet your co-stars, right? They get all your voices and then they cook it up in, in an editing room somewhere. And then you see it and you see yourself interacting with characters you never knew when you did it. So it's kind of magical and you have to surrender to a different artistic process. You, you know, it's really in the hands of the animators and the, and the editors. I marvel at their work and how, how synergistic they can make things. If it's meant to be, it will be. Do you recognize that? Is this? Is that for him or me? Is this for me? I feel like it's him. Is this yeah. Mulan? Oh, okay, I was wondering about that, so this is, the hair clip. Oh my goodness gracious, that's fantastic. Of all the projects I've ever worked on, that was the most formative. Um, I will not um, mince words, it was the absolute hardest project I've ever worked on. It was a six year project, it was, a, it was a massive undertaking. I'm extremely proud of the way it turned out. Absolutely, yes. well all the films I've worked on since then, I've again benefited from everything I've learned on this one. Just Let's get down to business. Oh. Isn't that it? Yes, yes. yes. I love it. Well, the best, the best. Yeah. You're um, intimidating? Oh, inspiring? Animation is notoriously something that takes years. How do you decide when a project is worth that time commitment? 
oh, if there's something inside it that's that's worth that kind of time, absolutely. And the wild robot would be a really good example of that. The message of the movie and the characters and the overall story were so beautiful and so charming and so powerful that absolutely worth worth the effort and worth the time. Sometimes to survive, we must become more than we were programmed to be. So I was at the preview of The Wild Robots and everyone bawled during it, including myself. What do you think it is about animation that gets people emotionally invested so quickly? There's a directness to it. I think there's, because of the graphic nature of the thing, it's very efficient, it connects very quickly. It's, it's something I've always noticed. I've never really figured out why, but I think like a, a drawing or an image like that, it just cuts straight to the chase. I would suspect that it has something to do with like a return to our childhood. I think as children, that's when we were like at our purest and our most impressionable and that's when illustration and that sort of thing matter to us the most. And I think we somehow lose that when we become more realistic, you know? And so when you have an animated story, it kind of like gives you license to return to a simpler, a uh, more vulnerable version of yourself. And I am a wild robot.